Do you ever find yourself focusing on what you lack rather than what you want? It's common to feel this way, but it's not beneficial to our mental and emotional well-being. In today's video, we'll discuss how visualization can help you train and stretch your mind to make room for the manifestation of your deepest desires. Joseph Murphy, the author of the best-selling self-help book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, states that whatever beliefs, thoughts, and opinions we impress on our subconscious mind are made manifest in our experiences. But how can we get our subconscious mind to work for us? And how does visualizing our desires help us overcome negative thoughts? In light of Murphy's teachings, we'll explore the answers to these questions in today's video. Michelangelo was perhaps the greatest sculptor in history. He said, I saw the angel in the marble and carved until I set him free. He saw David in the marble. His mental imagery allowed him to birth from his subconscious mind a genius creation. In a similar manner, when we visualize our desires, we become immersed in the state of having them, and it activates our minds to work on our behalf. This is what makes visualizing your desire important. Let's take an example to understand how visualizations help us live in the state of having our desires. Let's say there is a woman living in the city. She imagines herself going to a small village outside of the city where she can start a new life and write a novel. She visualizes herself sitting at a wooden desk, drinking a cup of hot coffee and writing the final pages of her book. She feels the warm sun blazing in through a big picture window and hears the soft call of a morning dove. She can see the calm lake with its cold water from the window of her home. She thinks about how she will enjoy kayaking on it later in the day. While imagining all this, she feels fulfilled, content, and at peace. Not only in what she is imagining, but in reality too. Now, when she repeats this imagined scene, her subconscious mind starts feeling like it's real. You experience the same feelings and emotions as you would in reality. Repetition of the same scene impresses the subconscious mind and ultimately resources become available that lead you toward the situation that you imagined. Circumstances are automatically created in favor of the goal that you imagine. For example, the woman who is imagining going to a village, sitting at a desk, having a cup of coffee, and writing a novel may receive a surprise phone call from an old friend who recently moved to that village and invites her there. The fact is, our subconscious mind can't distinguish between reality and imagination. If you imagine it, it will produce the same emotions and feelings that it will produce in reality. According to Joseph Murphy, there are two parts of the brain. One is the conscious mind, while the other is the subconscious mind. The conscious mind is responsible for producing emotions and feelings, which affect our attitude, behavior, decisions, and actions in our daily lives. But it lies below the conscious mind and can't differentiate between imagination and reality. It simply gets directions from the conscious mind in the form of thoughts and produces the relevant emotions or feelings. Because it is linked to the conscious mind, whatever the conscious mind sends to it, it receives without arguing and considers it real. Now, if we play a scene in our conscious mind, our subconscious mind will accept it as real, and it will give rise to the same emotions and feelings as if it were actually happening. Visualizing our desires is a powerful tool that can help us achieve our goals and overcome negative thoughts. Our subconscious mind is the key to making our dreams a reality. It's responsible for shaping our thoughts and emotions, and ultimately, our actions. When we visualize our desires, we immerse ourselves in the state of having them, which activates our minds to work on our behalf. Let's take a closer look at how visualizing our desires works. When we visualize something, we create mental images of what we want to achieve. These images can be vivid and detailed and they should evoke strong emotions and feelings. For example, if you want to buy a new car, you can visualize yourself driving it on a beautiful road, feeling the wind in your hair, 
and the sun on your face. As you imagine this scene, you should feel the excitement and joy that come with owning your dream car. When you visualize your desires, your subconscious mind starts to accept them as real. This is because the subconscious mind cannot differentiate between reality and imagination. It simply receives the thoughts and emotions sent to it by the conscious mind and produces the relevant feelings. When you visualize your desires, your subconscious mind receives the message that what you want is already yours and it starts to work on your behalf to make it a reality. Repetition is key when it comes to visualization. The more often you visualize your desires, the more you train your mind to accept them as real. This is because repetition impresses the subconscious mind, and the more you impress it, the more likely it is that your desires will manifest in your life. When you visualize your desires, you should do it with intention, focus, and belief. You should truly believe that what you want is already yours, and that the universe is conspiring to make it happen. The key to successful visualization is to create a mental image that feels real and immerse ourselves in the experience. We should use all our senses to create a detailed mental picture, including what we see, hear, feel, taste, and smell. The more vivid and detailed our visualization is, the more effective it will be in impressing our subconscious mind and bringing our desires into reality. In addition to visualizing our desires, we should also cultivate positive beliefs and affirmations that align with our goals. By focusing on positive thoughts and beliefs, we can program our subconscious mind to work in our favor and attract the people, opportunities, and resources that we need to achieve our desires. In conclusion, visualization is a powerful tool that can help us train and stretch our minds to make room for the manifestation of our deepest desires. By creating vivid and detailed mental images that immerse us in the experience, we can impress our subconscious mind and attract the circumstances that align with our goals. So, if you want to live the life of your dreams, start visualizing it today and watch as your desires come to fruition. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. And if you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.